Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got AOKP Milestone 2 for Galaxy S3. So uh, it's finally released because it was uh, under development for a long time. Now uh, it's really released and it's got awesome features. So let's get into it. Okay. So uh, here is the lock screen. Okay the normal lock screen what you just saw is a feature I'll get into that later okay <laughs> so here is the stock launcher of Android which is awesome okay I have flash G apps which you have to uh, flash separately it doesn't come with that so that's one thing so you can see all these apps there so uh, let's get into the settings right away uh, what you see here is the dual play dual pane mode of settings which is in an in this uh, general UI uh, let's get into the about page first okay so uh, here is about so here is the statistics about uh, Android so here it is it shows you it is milestone 2 how cool is that so that's awesome so uh, it is 4.2.2 for those who didn't know about that okay um, I don't know if that okay here is the awesome unicorn which is the mascot of Android AOKP releases which stands for Android Open Kang project which is awesome again here it is so uh, what else let's go into ROM, ROMs control which is the best it is, which is the real highlight of AOKP ROMs okay these guys have an awesome uh, website which shows you the uh, about page and all which is awesome again so um, here is the ROM controls with first option being uh, general user interface you can customize a real lot in this one okay you have a lot of customization options like it's crazy okay you can change custom uh, boot animations that's cool transparency settings for everything like status bar lock screen uh, so you can make the lock screen completely transparent so you can see what's under the hood okay not technically okay so uh, custom carrier label you can change that notification background you can select that uh, show notification uh, count uh, let me just change the dual panel so that uh, the dual panel is changed so that we can see all the settings there okay here it is the normal settings screen general UI here is the all the settings okay status bar uh, brightness slider you can see it does change the brightness that's cool height status bar I am e switcher that is the keyboard thing UI mode it has got three UI modes phone tablet and phablet which is awesome again uh, I really like that one I normally use the phablet mode with doing my normal usage okay three menu overflow you can select that to have that okay you have to restart it but that's it okay uh, 180 degree rotation for the rotation you can enable that CRT of animation so you can even select the animation portrait or vertical or it can be orientation dependent that's cool enable kill all button and a ram bar here is the ram bar which shows nothing and kill all okay hardware back to kill you can long press the uh, back button to kill the application so that's cool there are a lot of options and in the lock screen okay what you sh what you saw then was a new feature which was um, holding the ring here it is uh, glow pad torch you can hold the lock ring and you will get torch let's see again here it is torch that's cool right you unlock it and it goes away you just lift your finger it goes away so that's cool uh, pretty useful in tricky situations so that's uh, good you can see all these options here lock screen text color you can even change that long press action all of these all widgets you can op uh, opt for using all the widgets which you normally can on a launcher to be able to uh, select in the launcher uh, in the lock screen so that's pretty cool feature and all power menu uh, the power menu you can have the torch in the power menu too like this one pretty cool ribbons, ribbons is a really really nice thing is it really 
nice touch to an awesome uh, ROM. Now on to what ribbons is. Okay, ribbons is this cool new feature which uh, allows you guys to have kind of something like a ribbon on the sides or wherever these point to. Okay, and you can switch from one app to another like in a GFI. You can have multitasking uh, like no other thing okay you is different than reasons menu it is something like it, they are always there okay they are kind of like task switchers and quick quick access buttons okay <laughs> let's just call it quick accents okay so that's pretty neat uh, I'll show you guys uh, one thing that is the uh, right swipe button I'll set it up so and show I've you guys set up the right swipe ribbon okay now I have to have to swipe there and whatever app I want to go to I'll just click that okay now I have the ribbon ready so now I have to go to some other app like ES file explorer I'm there okay I have to I want to go back to that place now I'm there okay that's cool so uh, I guess that makes it a multi-tool something app so that's pretty nice okay uh, you're still there okay so that's the thing about ribbons you have a bunch of things to do with that one so it's not it doesn't end with that so that's a pretty neat option you have okay about ribbons uh, be sure to check out how to use all of these things okay you, you even have application windows you have a lot of things to do with this so it it's toggles really awesome. again you okay. can select what all toggles you want there so uh, that's something uh, awesome okay again toggle setup you have all these toggles you can change toggles you can have all these in the code including quick record which is cool I've used it many a times okay stay awake swagger swagger that's a pretty cool feature google that okay google swagger uh, current user uh, favorite user torch sync everything every one of these is cool okay here is swagger you can't turn it off okay <laughs> that's something just google it okay now fast toggle uh, whatever that you want okay that's cool uh, toggle style you can you can go back to the traditional uh, Android style which is uh, which requires you to have super user permission okay that's cool here it is you have the traditional thing you don't need the uh, Custom toggles, you have anymore. the option to have uh, three actions for each toggle, so that's awesome. Okay, it's kind of like you go from uh, on the vibrate tab, uh, tile, you can go from vibrate to silent to ringtone mode, so that's pretty cool. Just see how it works so that uh, you get what, what it is. Okay, now battery, you have battery bar, and uh, I don't use battery bar, I don't like battery bar that much. Circle mode, all of that is got crazy options okay clock uh, you have all these okay you can have center clock right side clock am pm indicator day of the week indicator everything that's cool now led as uh, led is another option you can customize the led for anything you want okay uh, right now i've got a kind of a blue thing going on you see that right that's awesome you can customize for anything even let's try magenta or some other color which is normally not used let's see this color you see that right you can even use that so not all phones will be compatible with this but S3 is so yay good thing okay now signal you can have signal uh, alternate signal layout uh, and all of that that's pretty cool now sounds you have options for that in the uh, like Bluetooth A to, A to DP connection action frequent notification sounds volume panel enable vo ex volume panel that is this one seems that cool. installer now, I, these settings are good I don't know what these do but maybe you guys do okay now that's it about uh, ROM controller now what else uh, dark AOKP is functioning properly in this one so that's cool you see everything is now dark like it's supposed to be in a OLED display so that's pretty cool uh, theme uh, device options for uh, Samsung S3 I guess uh, is available in all the ROMs 
theme option for uh, this is a normal system theme you can change it to any other theme I personally use the uh, Sony theme because I'm really happy with this, how Sony phones look so that's something personal okay uh, display again all of this pulsating notification light I use pulsating notification light because it seems cooler okay daydream everything you have a lot of settings there and the main function main thing about this is the ROM control which has everything which which gives you all the customization options which you need for to run this ROM right so that's pretty cool so uh, I guess that is it. Uh, let me show you guys the uh, boot animation uh, for this and uh, yeah, let me show you guys that. So guys, here is the boot animation for AOKP Milestone 2 which is the same as the AOKP releases but awesome boot animation. Uh, it has a simplistic, okay, it's like the Nexus one with the colored Google bars, so that's cool again nice features everything you see that right yeah it was quite laggy I don't know why okay I think that got a bit of stuck there yeah it, it is a custom ROM custom ROM has its own uh, things so uh, I guess that is it um, I don't know if there's anything else to do. Just go to their website to for the full information. It's got a lot of things. Okay, so that's really it about this. <laughs> you, you be sure to read their about page. So that's awesome. I just read that and it's hilarious. Okay, so uh, I guess that is it. So this is AOKP ROM uh, for Galaxy S3 and a bunch of other devices. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.